Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Insulin Audits. Older women realizing that they aren't wanted anymore and are crying on social media. <laughs> Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. That's good. Ciao. It's Child Time. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I am at work. I'm just coming on here to say to you gentlemen, if you love somebody, if you truly love somebody and you want to be with them, you want to live your life with them mm -hmm. and you want to do things with them, mm -hmm. don't just text them. Make a phone call. Show up at their work. Send them flowers. Do something to show other than texting. Maybe they don't love you. That's why they only text it gets so tiresome ladies do you get texts from the guy who wants to date you i mean i don't understand this day and age it's bad it's really bad dating sucks so show me that you mean it words mean nothing sorry that's the truth have a good day Okay, there are two parts that I have to address in her message. The first part is she is correct about men who truly want to be with women do so much more than texting. Went for correct. this grand elder post-war queen. Now, the second part I have to address is whom it applies to. And that's not for the vast majority of these empty egg cartons. <laughs> Ladies, let me explain something to you. Before any of you decide to break up your marriages, to go find yourselves on the carousel again, the bulk of men would do these things because they felt they had a gem who loved only them. Once you have crossed over into that 70% plus divorce rate and have proven you willingly put men through the circus of family court, you are no longer that gem. New men you meet see you as capable of doing the same to them. All of a sudden, you are not getting that princess treatment from men, and why should they? When you proved you are not Cinderella, you are more akin to the wicked stepmother. Mm. Oh, that's a lot of damage! <laughs> Before we move on, I want to bring attention to the fact that 79% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Come on, fam. You've seen my logo on other channels, and you're already here. Please hit that subscribe button and support Give the channel. Some support. It really helps out. Moving on. Any other single ladies on here don't mind being single, but hate dating apps and hate dating. I just get on those sites and I think, oh my God, seriously, another dude with a fish? Do they all just like have big fish laying around? Like, I don't understand the big It's called a hobby. And men enjoy fishing. You know why? Because it's very peaceful. And... You get something to eat, and it's a sport at the same time. It's like three fucking in one. It's like, like four in one. You get to hang out with your buddies and drink beer and like smoke or do whatever the hell you want. Like, it's a pretty fun thing. Fish thing. I mean, I get it. You like big fish. You like to fish. But chicks don't like dead fish. I'm just letting you know. If you're a Why the hell do you guys smell like one, though? Guy and you're single and you have a picture on a dating profile, do not put a picture of you with a dead fish. We get it, you love fishing. We love girly sh too, but we don't like show up with like pictures of like showing heels in our shopping bags. Come on. Just like the previous Grand Elder post -walk Halloween, there are two things I have to address here. The first being how she is correct of men should not be using a fish pick in their dating profiles I'll if agree with they that. want to attract a good amount of women. The second part I have to address is the blazing double standards. What? What are you talking about? Okay, ladies, let me break this down for you fifis over logic impaired. <laughs> Isn't it awesome how you ladies criticize fish picks in men's profiles, but in your own profiles, you post pics of your offspring, exotic vacations you have taken, yacht parties, and high-end cars. It's funny how so many of you think those pics represent what you like and shows how you have fun, but you dislike a fish pic that a man posts because it's what he does for fun. And this is exactly why the men on those dating apps that sell you queens the dream are the most successful at smashing without giving commitment. It's because of how superficial the bulk of you are in your demands irrelevant of how old... It he is correct. Like the superficialness of women can easily be manipulated. This is how advertising and media manipulates women to such a degree. If you can do what these companies and the media does by telling her exactly what she wants to hear, that she's the best or whatever she wants to know. Yeah, they're going to fucking fall for it. It's, I'm not trying to say women are 
dumb, but they're very susceptible to these things. Old, you actually are. Fatality. Flawless victory. Moving on. How to date MILFs for beginners. So I see it in the comment section that some of y'all want to date some MILFs. Well, if you want to date a MILF, there's at least three steps that I got. Step number one. All right, I gotta say, those are some nice chesticles. You can't be judgmental if she has children. That's kind of the whole point of dating a mother I'd like to f Make sure you're taking those babies with open arms. Step number two, on the first date, just get to know her. Don't even ask about the kids. Most MILFs are already self-conscious about being moms. They think you don't like them, which is not true because MILFs are hot. Ask her a bunch of questions about her life, her sewing circle, just because you're hot doesn't mean we like you. We want to bang you, but the like portion of things is a little bit much. Get to know the woman, and she gonna want to get to know you in that bedroom. Once you make it to the bedroom, you need to bring at least three things. A breast pump, a swing, and something you know you're gonna eat. Make sure you bring a knife and a fork as well. Game's game. What? For those female viewers who claim men are just thirsty. Uh, is it down there that big of a roast beef sandwich that I need to bring a knife and fork? God dang. See, all the time, I present to you the other side of that coin. You see, I'm not saying women are thirsty or at least nowhere near as thirsty as men are for physical intimacy. Nope. These coins are thirsty for help. I mean, they either left their husbands to go find themselves or they let Chad... Tyrone, Pookie, or Ray Ray hit it raw and now find themselves raising the regrets on her lonesome. So they resort to making videos like these to first trap those beta imp chumps who fall for it. I mean, did she need to sway back and forth like that? Or was she just putting her goods on display in an effort to get a DM from a possible future stepdaddy? <laughs> yeah, boy. Now, I am clear that the bulk of men aren't going to pass up a chance to smash an attractive single mom. But don't get it twisted, ladies. They aren't going to bring what this Queen recommended. What those men are bringing is a box full of jimmies, some extra toys if they are feeling freaky, and a blue pill or two. Also, do you know what they are not bringing? The intentions of a commitment to be your next baby daddy. How about new? Moving on. I'm a single woman in her 40s. Have I downloaded every dating app? Yes. Have I deleted every dating app? Yes. Have I downloaded every dating app again? Yes. Have I deleted every dating app again? Also, yes. I'm a single woman in her 40s. Hang out with me tonight? Um, no, I'm gonna need five to seven business days notice. Actually, this is the end of December, so let's shoot for February 15th. I'm a single woman in her 40s. Go looking for love? Um, no, I'm gonna need Mr. Wright to teleport into my living room. Yeah. Thanks. I'm a single woman in her 40s. Do I want you in my life? Maybe. Do I need you in my life? Absolutely not. I'm a single woman in her 40s. Why the fuck do we even make this video? This video right here is just so cringe. Who cares? Why do you need to announce all of this to the world? Oh, you know, I, 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 I am a single father. You know, I got two kids. I don't need no, no woman. What man out there is saying shit like this? What man out there is fucking so stupid that saying that they don't need a woman in their life? Very few. They know they, they they want one. It's very nice to have one. But do they need it? Not quite, but they want it. And they know that it's needed to further society and to further a, a healthy family and your legacy. But you women... 40s, stay over tonight. Um, I'm going to need you to actually call yourself a lift and lift yourself right on out of my house so I can get a good night's sleep. I'm a single woman in her 40s. I'm going to need to see this signed permission slip from your therapist before you approach me romantically. I'm a single oh. woman in her 40s. If a man wants to, he will. No, actually, if a man won't. This woman has so much fucking makeup on. It's ridiculous. She's literally caked to the fucking nine with... I'm pretty positive these are not her real eyes. Eye color. This is some colored contacts so everything about you looks quite fake so far you're in your 40s with not a single wrinkle on you so it's either the filter that's fucking doing a tremendous amount of hard work right now or you have a shitload of botox all over your face i'll find someone who will
Mom say that happiness is from magic rays of sunshine that come down when you're feeling blue. You know when she spots off that she is a single Mama woman said. in her 40s like it is some kind of badge of honor, it really only backfires in her attempt to attract the man she wants. Oh, and ladies, don't think for a moment that was not her intention in this video. Uh, with the five pounds of plastered fake up and an active filter, this was not meant for other women. And to this queen, let me tell you what men's actual thoughts are with this video. A combination of a post wall smashing a low egg count queen who obviously can't maintain a lifelong relationship thinking that most high quality men have to jump through dozens of hoops just, just to smash her used her up roast room. beef. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Queen, don't get me wrong, as I know it's not difficult for you to get a guy to smash. That's not a flex. The hard part for you is to get the man you are attracted to, i.e. a high-value man, to commit to you. That's the flex right there, honey. Getting a fast food worker to smash is nothing for women. But getting the equivalent of a George Clooney to put a ring on it? That's a championship wedding mm -hmm. ring right there. Fleximus Maximus. <laughs> and getting that type of guy in your 40s is a very low probability. Sorry, sweetheart, but stories like Lauren Wendy Sanchez are not the rule. They are the rare exception to the rule. The men you are attracted to can pull in younger women. It's just reality. How dare you? Moving on. Since we talked about older men who date younger women and substantially younger women let's talk about older women who date younger men and um i am one of them i don't make any effort to hide that i do that for two reasons number one physical uh, my men my age at least in my again okay, we've seen this clip like this is probably like the third time we've seen this particular clip it's sad that they cannot literally see the hypocrisy that everything that she says, it just flipped around. She has something against. Even though she says the exact same thing, uses the exact same logic, uses the almost the exact same reasoning why men choose younger women. But she doesn't understand. My area it's... don't age well. They don't take great care of themselves. They don't stay physically active. I do take care of myself. I do stay active. So it's basic principles of attraction. And then I'm not willing to compromise on the lifestyle that will keep me feeling and looking my best. Number two, it's mental. The men my age that I encounter in my area are battle scarred and they're not willing to make an effort to learn and heal from it. Again. The exact opposite reigns true. <laughs> hey fam, that's the clean cut label we're going with right now. Okay, let me be clear as to some clues before I take a guess here. In previous videos, this queen has admitted to have been married to a highly successful man she divorced. She got a big payout on the divorce and has stated she gets ignored at her gym by the men there, which she is attracted to. If I didn't know any better, adding up all those factors with her admitting she dates younger, I would not be surprised if my male viewers would say Say she is a sugar mama. I'm mm. not saying she actually is one, but damn, this is sus to say the least. That and if you sense. sprinkle on top of that, her need to make a video to try to justify hopping on a younger Chad slash Tyrone sausage. Oh, damn, that's just more seasoning for the sauce there, Colleen. <laughs> Let me just say this gorilla also dates younger than myself, but you don't see me trying to vindicate it in any way. Damn, skip me. Uh, they don't have a sense of humor. They don't have a zest for life and intellectual curiosity. They're a drag. That said, 10 years younger, that's my general. I mean, I have been called a drag by many of women. I'm just a serious kind of guy. Yeah, I mean, I laugh here and make videos and stuff, but outside of this, I'm fucking dead serious majority of the time. Well, cut off for a long-term consideration. And that's what I think older men and younger women should observe to keep things fair and not an uneven power dynamic. That's based on what I have seen and also other people I know. 10 years is a window where two people can be on a level playing field because they've had similar life experiences. Younger than that, it's possible that they haven't. The stupid similar life experiences is so fucking dumb. What if she grew up in another country? What if I grew up in another country? What if she was fucking an orphan? The life experiences are not the same. They will hardly ever be the same, nor does time change that majority of the time. And that's not fair. It's an uneven power dynamic. And quite frankly, for me, it's just not interesting. 
anything more than a 10 year age difference. I have done that, um, but it's for a fun time, not a long time. Oh. Mature men don't have zest for life. Talk about coping mechanisms there, Queen. That's a tall pile of bull crap you just shoveled there. Men are the ones who plan everything, including trips with younger women. With older women, they just smash and go to dinner sometimes. In other oh. words, they invest in shit. That's exactly what I do. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, can beauty for dinner. older gals <laughs> like you the minimum is all that is required your money and properties don't mean a damn thing to men who have worked on themselves i.e the men you are attracted to and as always an older decades post-war kaween trying to give men a cut off to dating younger sorry there princess but 50 year old men will happily smash and date women in their 20s you said anything but fair why do these old hens keep using teenage girls think of it's not fair <laughs> listen kaween you can give your beat up roast beef to whomever you want but stop trying to tell men who to smash jealousy doesn't look good on you not fair you say that so often I wonder what your basis for comparison is. Moving on. So I could not even wait to get home to record this saga of Cyber Single Girl. Epic fail. I mean, you're quite a bit of ways from being called a girl now. You're a hag now, lady. Met a guy on the Facebook dating app. Talked to him, texted him for a day. We talked on the phone last night for like an hour. We're supposed to meet at Dunkin' Donuts today. I was running a few minutes late, texted him. He said he was here, came here, not here. He's not here. He's not answering my text messages now, completely ignoring my text messages. I tried. Did you not just say you were late? Calling him. Voicemail box not set up. I don't understand. Why would you lie about being here when you're not here? completely ghosted and stood up don't understand you were the one that said let's meet today so absolute epic fail complete waste of my time i okay considering none of us were there this gorilla can only take a stab in the dark as to why this pure unique gem of a decades plus post wall smashing queen uh, went through this i will say the guy was probably there and once he took a look at this granny's presentation he dropped the deuces and went into ghost mode grandma well he could have just left after you called him tell the truth he uh... You called me that you were late, but you're already late. I probably just left. Unless it's a restaurant I do enjoy, then I'll just be eating. Have you ever heard the saying that you don't get a second chance to make a first impression? Well, even if you were going to Dunkin' Donuts, you could have at least tried to make the effort not to dress up like a corner store Karen. Okay, let me come at this from another angle. The men that can be awesome in communication have the top quality that women want in men on the flip side men want women to be as attractive as possible but when you don't put in the effort to be at the same level he puts in you leave him with flaccid desires to continue with being in your company i mean let's be honest i can assure you that my male viewers can probably smell the cheap three dollar bottle of perfume this queen is wearing just through the screen Um, beyond floored by this so to add insult to injury I go into Dunkin Donuts to get I'm like here may as well get a drink I order an iced coffee she brings me a hot coffee hurts my soul hurts my soul can't even get my coffee right today oh my god <gasps> Um, oh my god I didn't realize wrong orders games. hurt your soul like that. I don't think women would do this crap to women shut the fuck up I feel up. like women would treat each other much better no you guys treat each other much much worse than men actually treat women then guys are treating me this is <clears throat> like I am beside myself that this could happen I mean when you're that big it's easy to be beside yourself I, I just, there are no words I, I have no words I don't even know what to say she actually thinks women would not ghost. Are you serious there, Granny? Women practically invented 
ghosting. I mean, where do you think men learned that from? But to be True. fair, I am sure more than one of my male viewers is going to say, yeah, go ahead and switch teams. You will be doing men a favor. Fam, this is more evidence that women live in a bubble. I mean, it is documented that lesbian couples have the highest rates of divorce. And let's not ignore the reality of lesbian bed deletion. As in, for as much as you taco on taco extremists want to claim women being with women is so much better, then please explain to us why your fingers don't require Viagra, but you stop using them to pump up your girlfriend after only two years into the relationship. But men lay that pipe almost on the daily, well into the 10th year of marriage. Damn Sweetheart, right. You can go munch on as much rug as you want. That placebo is going to feel awesome at first, but it won't be long before your roast beef will be demanding to be paired with a real sausage. I do think that lesbian couples are a little weird that they still use male parts and male, you know, genital toys in a sense to pleasure themselves even though they like women parts. Make it make sense. <laughs> Thanks for the below. I really appreciate it. Catch you guys next time. Ciao.